And so over the last several years, we've worked with engineers and scientists at NASA and Fusion VR to recreate meticulously Mars. Taking dozens of, well, photographs from dozens of satellite flybys of Mars. We've meticulously reconstructed the surface using photogrammetry. Eight square kilometers, eight square kilometers of the Mars surface has been recreated for your enjoyment. Rocks hand sculpted, a million of them placed in a deformed way based on the satellite images. The design of the rover, the design of the habitat, the design of the spacesuit, all original designs from NASA. An incredible, incredible recreation of Mars. Well, let me show it to you right now. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Before we go any further, um, you know, the question really, the question that really is, if you, if we were to send somebody to Mars, and we wanted to send an astronaut to Mars, who would we send? And who, who deserves the first ticket to Mars? And who would be more excited to be the first inhabitant of Mars? Well, you know, when we think about it, I mean, there's only one child, adult childlike explorer who loves to do something nobody has ever done, wants to be first at everything, Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wozniak. Steve. Hi, Jensen. How are you? I'm so excited. I'm so great you know, to be here. <laughs> you know, for, first of all, first of all, uh, you know, we recreated this, we recreated Mars. And engineers and scientists and artists have worked meticulously and painstakingly to recreate every detail. And now, after Billions of dollars of R&D, billions of dollars of R&D, we have now put ourselves in a position where we're ready to send one lucky astronaut. One lucky astronaut. And I heard an interview recently where you said that you, you would place a, a, you would buy a ticket right off the bat for a one-way trip. Absolutely. I've signed up for a few. And we thought that it would be great if you were the first to Mars, and this might be a one-way ticket. I am totally on Jensen, and NVIDIA makes it possible. Let's see, I haven't done it yet. And so why do you want to go to Mars, first of all? I don't know. It's just one of those extreme things. It's, it's such an important step for humanity because it's so hard to do. It's so hard to get there. There are so many scientific obstacles that we have to overcome. And, and, and so I want to tell you this, just as a, as a, as a, as a favor for humanity, when, the first thing you should do when you land is please find Matt Damon. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm going to do, if it's, if it's live video streamed back to Earth, I'm going to scroll, use my feet and dig out the letters MOM. mom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the experience that Steve is about to have has actually never been done before, and I've not tried it yet. And I wanted to save that moment for Waz. So, Waz, why don't you go ahead and try it. Tell us how it is. Whoa. You look great. Just a moment? Yes. Oh, this is going to be big, you guys. You look great. I can, supposedly, I can maneuver myself. Uh, I picked up the controller backwards. <laughs> oh, I'm walking around. around. Why do I feel weird? I feel weird like I'm actually moving and getting dipped. And I think I'll enter the rover. <laughs> now I'm in the rover. And I can spin it around a little. Whoa! Now all of this, oh all of this is made possible by our friends at Cisco. So, I, we con I contacted Ronan Trollo, who heads the, the Cisco telepresence. You know what, look, look at what's happening here. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Waz. Uh, his experience is actually being back to us, streamed back to us. Okay, so we're experiencing what he's experiencing from his VR glasses. Wow. All of this stuff, Roland and his team, Roland and his team, 
jumped on this, set all this stuff up for us, literally in a day. Literally in a day. So I want to thank Rowan, I want to thank Cisco, and uh, yeah, really appreciate that. Uh, and you on the believe the feelings when you do it. On the ground, Scott Newman and the team, you guys are doing a fantastic job. It's amazing what you guys pulled off in just a day. Okay, hey, hey, uh, Waz, I'm going to go back to, to do my job and uh, enjoy okay. Mars. Uh, this is this is uh, this is not a one-way ticket. When you when you find David, could you just let us know? Okay. Tell us what we're this, looking this for. Is, am I on? Am I on Everest after global warming? Is that it? <laughs> you, know, you know, look, this this is a trip to Mars. It's not a trip to Everest. This is going to be this incredible a... for whoever gets to really do it. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. I'm going to fall out of this chair. <laughs> well, was that was not a helpful comment. Hi, <laughs> right, brother. I'll let you, you know, yeah, I'll let you know when you can help me again. Oh my gosh! What did <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks a lot, Steve. Enjoy Mars. First astronaut on Mars.